All right, so in this one, we're gonna be updating a actual instance inside of the shell using our serializer, uh, model serializer. Something that we've already kind of done, but we only did the create side of it. Uh, so if we go back into our code, we had some notes inside of the serializers um, about actually creating a new one. So we see data equals the data. And we're gonna actually go off of something very similar to this, but instead of just data equals the data, we are gonna do that data into a specific object. In this case, we're gonna get back this object, which was an ID of three. But if you remember the last one, we actually deleted it. Um, so I already jumped into the Python shell and I'm gonna go ahead and copy the imports for this, which we have right here. Very simple, we're importing the model and then we're gonna import the serializer. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy those, bring that in. And we're, we're not able to import post serializer anymore because of how it was before. Instead, we'll do post detail serializer. So let's bring that in and there we go. Um, and I'm just gonna change the code down here a little bit to post detail serializer. So the first thing I wanna do is get the object from the post. So I'll say object equals to post.objects.get and we'll say ID equals a three. This should give us a specific object. If I press it, it says object exists, matching query does not exist. Well, it, it makes sense that it doesn't exist because we actually deleted it. So if I went to object ID equals to two, I would see that now I don't have that error, right? So object is another item here. So if I just wanted to update that item to this new data or the old data, whatever you want to look at it as, I can just grab it and do this. So I put the instance first and then the data there, and then we are gonna go through and just come in here and we'll say new item and uh, new item, excuse me, dot data. And now we see that the ID is two but it's using all that other data. That's a very simple way on how we update it in the shell. Uh, really not that complicated, right? Like this is this is a, essentially what you'd be doing. So new item dot delete would do, well, you can't delete it, right? So that's not exactly how you would delete it, but at the very least, this is how you would update it. But since we already have the object, right? So we already have the object that we know, so obj is still that same object, we could do obj dot delete and that actually will delete that post. And now we do OBJ. Um, it is giving us the ID of what it is. So let's just go object equals to post.objects.get ID equals to two. And it says it does not exist, right? So the variable is still there, but the actual object is no longer there. Um, okay, cool. So if you have any questions on what we did here for update and delete, let us know. Otherwise, let's keep going.